This is Quarter Notes with DCC. I'm Eric Taylor, Artistic Director for the Detroit Children's Choir, and today we're going to talk about a very specific technique for our advanced singers. Belting. This is not a video I would recommend for our elementary students and our middle school students as our voices are still developing. If you are a high school student that is currently studying voice, or you're a high school student that wants to learn specifically what this technique is, this video is for you. If you're a fan of pop music or Broadway music, for example, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga, or in the Broadway, Broadway realm, Kristen Chenoweth, Jonathan Groff, Adina Menzel, you may have heard of this technique. But belting is specifically the mixture of our chest voice, the thickness of our vocal cords, to utilize notes in our head voice, the thinness of our vocal cords. This is a very specific technique that's different from projection as projection deals with enunciation and diction for a general sense. But belting helps us to get to the back of the room for a very specific quality or a very specific style. For example, in Broadway, there's no business like show business. You get the idea. But like any muscle, belting is the next level of projection. You would not expect uh, for example, Usain Bolt, who, to, who runs the 100 meter race, uh, to go ahead and now go run a marathon. We don't expect that of our singers. So it's important that you watch the videos of body awareness and breathing, phonation, articulation and diction, extension of range, and head voice and chest voice before taking any of the techniques from this video. Let's start with a simple exercise that reminds us about how to project to the back of the room. And it looks like this. I will use my lower register. You're going to be singing up here. But it goes like this. My, 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 my. As if you're saying M-Y, my. But you're going to sing up here, my. Ready? And go. My, my, my. If you feel like you're not projecting as much as you should, take your finger and you're going to point to the back of the room. My, 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 my. Emphasize the M, emphasize the vowel. My, 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 my. Try it. My, 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 my. Set the voice. Oh. This next exercise is specifically to help with our belting style and to be able to belt healthily and not damage our vocal cords. So this time, as if you were like teasing a little brother or sister or an older brother or sister, repeat that. And you see what I'm doing with my face? You want to really squeeze your face as you're doing this as well. It helps with the effect. So this exercise is going to really help with our belting sound. Notice that there's tension, but there is not strain on our vocal cords. Belting, while it's, a diff it's different from our choral sound, belting allow it allows a pop or Broadway singer to be able to project to the back of the room, but it does create a different feeling in our voice. Just like my, same five notes. songs and see if you can hear a difference in your voice. And those are some tips on working with belting. Thank you. This has been Quarter Notes with DCC. If you enjoyed this video, like our Facebook page or subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at DetroitChildrenSquire.org. If you feel so inclined, these lessons are free and we appreciate any and all donations to our program. Have a great day.